Hey guys, so Anders here and welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be discussing uh, the new Battlefield Vault weapons that were added in Season 2, the M16A3 and the M60. These two weapons are kind of hot points of contention right now because I think a lot of people expected them to be a little better, but I find even if they aren't the best weapons in category, they're still pretty fun to use, but there are definitely some problems with them that we're going to be going over in this video. And I will also be going over the best setups that I have found for these weapons. They're surprisingly versatile, but again, I don't think either the M16 or the M60 are the best weapon in their category. The M16, I would say, is probably better than the M60 relative to just the other weapons. I think the LCMG and the PKP and even the new Avancies uh, completely destroy the M60, unfortunately. But it's still a new fun weapon. So uh, with all that out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching the videos. I really do appreciate it. And subscribe to the channel for more. There's a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the next few months, particularly with new games and obviously further coverage of Battlefield 2042. So if you enjoy the content, hit the subscribe button as over 70% of people that watch my content are not subscribed. So let's jump in game and actually figure out what are the best setups for these weapons. Alright, so now that we're in game, let's talk about the actual setups for these two weapons. Uh, one thing that might disappoint some of you is the M16 and the M60 do not have tier 1 skins, and considering the battle pass is pretty much full of skins, I think that's a pretty lazy oversight from DICE. I've seen some other people complain about that as well. Um, I think it would just be very easy for them to make a black and red M16 and M60 skin, you know? So, that's just, you know, hey, DICE, what are you going to do? The one thing to consider about the Battlefield 3 weapons, uh, being the M16 and M M60, is that they both have visual recoil, meaning that it's basically just lying to you. It's going to be a little more annoying to actually know exactly where you're shooting. So, just keep that in mind while using this weapon. If you're wondering why it might feel strange, that's probably why. And another thing to pay attention to when it comes to the M16, you don't have three different magazines to choose from. So you actually have a lot less ammo than you normally would using any other AR in the entire game. So that that really does suck because uh, switching between the ammo types is really a, a big game mechanic in this game. As far as the setups, if you're a you know gamer warlord 9 trillion who doesn't care about recoil, this is the best setup I've found for the M16 for me personally. Heavy Barrel and Laser Sight. Reason being, Heavy Barrel, a nice tangible increase for accuracy. Uh, it's definitely noticeable at range. And the Laser Sight, just better hip fire accuracy. So both of these attachments have uh, negligible downsides if you can handle it. And it's just increasing the overall accuracy of your weapon and versatility. If you're having trouble with the M16's recoil, which I do know a lot of people I think are, because the M16 actually does have quite a bit of recoil, more than the SCAR actually. The best anti-recoil setup for this weapon is the flash suppressor and the foregrip. So if you want max recoil control, I would use that. And uh, just something to consider, don't read these, you know, you know, firepower accuracy range handling things. Go on sim.gg, they have way more accurate statistics on what the attachments are actually doing to your weapon. And while we're at it, don't use suppressors in this game. You are constantly spotted on the minimap. Shooting uh, with a suppressor does not matter. You're spotted by Rao. You're spotted by Pike. You're spotted by Casper drones. You're spotted by sensor grenades. Um, just the whole lot. So don't use suppressors in this game in general. And another thing to consider with the M16, definitely abuse the grenade launchers. If you didn't know, you can technically have three separate grenade launchers because they all share a different ammo pool. So there's no downsides to having three grenade launchers if you want. And another interesting thing about the M16, it has the M320 LVG, which is a different grenade launcher than the normal HE, which we're all used to already. The LVG, I don't think, can be destroyed by Irish APS. So you can shoot this in crowds of people, and it has no chance of getting shot out of the air. I've gotten big multi-kills with this thing, so don't sleep on it. It's really, really good in close quarter areas. Um, definitely use that. Moving on to the M60. Unfortunately, the M60 does get out DPS'd by pretty much every single weapon in the game at close quarters. In mid range, it's okay, but I still don't think it's. Uh, I, I still don't think it'll compete. And one thing to consider: sights are always personal preference, but for whatever reason, the red dot sight on this weapon has crazy glow on it. So I would recommend staying away from the reflex and using the Cobra sight. Um, 
As far as the attachment setups on this, the M60 does not have a heavy barrel, and the flash suppressor is, um, I don't think I mentioned this actually, the flash suppressor is just a upgrade from the, from the uh, default muzzle. Um, it's a default muzzle with no muzzle flash, essentially. Um, so that's why you're going to want to use the M16 as well over the factory barrel for the uh, foregrip setup. And uh, I also run flash suppressor on the M60 with laser sight. Again, if you're finding if you need recoil control, you can use the foregrip. Uh, don't use bipod. It's just you're going to get shot in the head by a sniper. Um, and there's no reason not to use the extended mag. It just It's just 100 free bullets in a magazine. Or I don't know what this would be called. You know, an ammo pouch or whatever. So use the extended mag over the default mag for the M60. And that is about it. Both of these weapons are going to have visual recoil again. And I would like to see the M60's accuracy increase because it does have a lot of spread. And I would like to see the M16's recoil reduced as well as the very irritating delay uh, patched out of the game with the M16. Using this weapon, and comment down below if you've noticed this, this weapon doesn't let you shoot about a half second after you reload. It's very strange, and I think it's a bug. It, or it's or the uh, the ending of the reload animation might be um, longer than what the animation shows, if that makes sense. So yeah, those are the weapons for these. Those are the setups for these weapons. Excuse me. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button, like the video, and I will actually be streaming a Battlefield 4 tournament that my friends uh, managed to talk me into playing. I've never played a Battlefield 4 tournament. This will be a first time playing competitive. Uh, we're playing against a pretty formidable people that have been playing the game for, oh, I don't know, on and off every single day for nine years. So, yeah, follow my Twitch if you want to watch that. That will be on Saturday, uh, September the 3rd. So, drop my Twitch channel a follow, join the Discord, and, of course, subscribe to the YouTube channel. I will see you guys later.